right now we are going to discuss about uh, one more problem related to the minor losses please note down the problem a horizontal pipeline 40 meters long is connected to a water tank at one end and discharge into atmospheric at the other end find the first 25 meters of its length from the tank the diameter is uh, 150 mm and its diameter suddenly enlarged to 300 mm the height of water level in the tank is 8 meters above the center line of the pipe consider all losses of the head and uh, determine the rate of flow take f is equal to f is equal to 0 0.01 at both sections right here a water tank a water tank that is connected to pipe the pipe length is 40 meters the first 25 meters pipe length is uh, 150 mm dia this is 25 meters pipe and this is expanded to enlarged to 300 mm that is 300 mm the dia of first 25 meters pipe is 150 mm the dia after 25 meters length is 300 uh, mm the length of this pipe is uh, 15 meters this is 25 meters the total length is 45 meter 40 meters this is the water level in the tank this is the water level in the tank the water level in the tank is also given that is 8 meters based on this data we are going to determine the rate of flow through this pipe for the determination of rate of flow q with standard formula q is equal to a v or as per continuity equation a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 suppose at 150 mm dia is section 11 150 mm dia section 11 300 mm dia 300 mm dia is 300 mm dia is section 22 this is section 11 this is section 22 now we are going to determine the discharge at section 11 area into velocity or section 22 area into velocity that should be equal to q q is equal to q1 is equal to q2 right because the pipes are connected in a series right so here suppose we are going to determine the discharge at section 11 area is known to us because diameter is given velocity is uh, unknown otherwise we are going to determine the discharge at section 22 area is given that means diameter is given but uh, v2 is uh, not given directly for, for that purpose we are going to determine the first velocity at section 11 or velocity at section 22 and also in this problem they told that consider all losses consider all losses right now here we are going to apply Bernoulli's equation apply Bernoulli's equation at the free surface of the liquid that is the section 11 and uh, at the discharge of the liquid that is the section 22 we are going to apply the Bernoulli's equation one at the free surface of the liquid two at the outlet of the discharge right based on the Bernoulli's equation pressure head plus velocity head plus datum head at one section must be equal to pressure head plus velocity head plus datum head 
plus losses at the another section. Right, based on that uh, Bernoulli's equation, what are the heads at uh, se section 1? That is, at free surface of the liquid. That is, P1 by W plus Z1 plus V1 square by 2G is equal to, this is at section 1, section 2 to, section 2, that means at the outlet of the pipe, that is P2 by W plus uh, V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus, we are going to take the losses because the liquid is flowing from this direction to this direction, the losses are taken in the direction of flow. Therefore, the first loss is entrance. The liquid enters from tank to the pipe. This is the first uh, minor loss due to entrance. That is uh, HI. Plus, another loss, this is the pipe 1, that is 25 meters length. Uh, in this pipe having the frictional loss, that is the second loss, second minor loss is uh, frictional loss that is equal to 4 F L V square by 2 G D. This is regarding diameter 1 F1 L1 V1 square by 2 G D1. Plus one more loss, the water is entering from this pipe suddenly enlarged to 150 to 300 mm. Automatically here we are going to consider one more loss uh, that is the enlargement. That is the enlargement. That is already I have given formula to you. Sudden enlargement, uh, the head loss due to sudden enlargement is equal to V1 minus V2 square divided by 2G. Plus, plus one more loss, the water entering into 300 mm dia and uh, in this 300 mm dia also we are going to take the one more loss that is head loss due to friction. That is 4 F L V square by 2 G D that is second pipeline 2 2 2 2 4 F2 L2 V2 square by 2 G D. This is the equation based on the Bernoulli's uh, formula or Bernoulli's statement. Now, now this is the at section 1 1 that is we have taken at the free surface of the liquid. So here this is the center line of the pipe. This is taken as datum line. Center line of the pipe is taken as datum line. Okay, this is the datum line. We have taken at free surface of water. Section 1 is taken at free surface of water. At the free surface of water, there is no pressure head. Because there is no head. Free surface of water, we have taken the section 1. Now. Therefore, there is no pressure head. This is equal to 0. And... Uh, this is the center line. From center line to free surface of water, there is a datum head that is equal to 8 meters. This is equal to 8 meters. And at the free surface of water, there is no velocity head. Velocity head is equal to 0. Then at section 2, 2, that is at the outlet, at the outlet, there is no pressure head. And uh, velocity head we have. And another one, datum head. Datum head at outlet of the pipe because the center line or datum line is taken at the center line of the pipe. Therefore, datum head is uh, 0. Z2 is equal to 0. Right? Then, HE. HE is nothing but uh, because of the entrance. Right now, this is 0 plus 8 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus V2 uh, square by 2G plus 0 plus HE. HE is nothing but entrance, head loss due to entrance that we have, I have already given formula that is equal to 0 0.5 V1 square by 2G plus same 4 F1 L1 V1 square by 2G plus uh, V1 minus V2 square by 2G plus 4 F2 L2 V2 square by 2G. Now, in this equation, first we are going to develop the what is the relation between the velocity at section 11 and uh, velocity at pipe 11 and velocity at pipe 22. 
right. Now, as per the continuity equation, a1 v1 equal to a2 v2, right? v1 is equal to a2 v2 divided by a1, right? This is clear uh, statement. v1 is equal to a2 v2 divided by a1. Now, what is a1? Area at uh, section 11, that means pipe 11. That means phi d square. What is the diameter uh, here? A2. A2 is the cross-sectional area at 52. Cross-sectional area of 52. Cross-sectional area of 52. Pi d square d is equal to 300 mm. Pi d square by 4 into V2 divided by divided by A1. A1 is the cross-sectional area of the 51. That is equal to phi into 150 square divided by 4. Right, 4, 4 cancel, pi, pi cancel. This is equal to, this is equal to 300 uh, divided by 150 square into V2. 0, 0 cancel, 15 ones, 15 twos. That is equal to 2 square into V2. This is equal to 4 V2. Therefore, V1 is equal to 4 V2. We have developed the relation between the Velocity in pipe 1 and velocity in pipe 2, that is V1 is equal to 4 V2. Right, now we, now we are going to substitute the values in the standard equation, standard Bernoulli's equation, that is equal to, here only we have 8 is equal to, in place of 4, in place of V1, we are going to take the 4 V2. Right, here, V2 square divided by 2G plus, plus 0 0.5. V1 is nothing but 4V2 square by 2G plus 4 into, what is the F value? F value is given in the problem. That is equal to 0 0.01 into length that is 25 meters. This is the first pipeline length, 25 meters. So into velocity, V1 is nothing but 4V2 square divided by, divided by 2G. Plus V1 minus V2. V1 is nothing but 4V2 minus V2 square divided by, divided by 2G. Right? Plus 4 into F1, 0 0.01 into L1, 15 meters. The remaining uh, second length, uh, pipe length is only 15 meters. This is 20 meters. 20, this is 15 meters. This is 25 meters. So 15 plus 25 is equal to 40 meters. The length of the pipe uh, of 30 centimeters mm, 30, uh, 300 mm dia, length of the pipe is equal to 15 meters. Right. L2 is equal to 15 meters into V2 is V2 square divided by 2G. Right now, 8 is equal to V2 square by 2G plus, this is equal to 4 square, 4 square 16, 16 divided by 2, 8 V2 square by 2G plus this entire value is that is 106.67 V2 square by 2G plus this is 4 V2 minus V2 equal to 3 V2, 3 V2 square 9 V2, 9 V2 square 9 V2 square divided by 2G plus this value is equal to 2 V2 square by 2G. Now here, all parameters are, all parameters are known values, only one parameter, that is velocity V2. Right? Now, 8 equal to, this is V square by 2G, plus 8 V square by 2G, plus 106.67 V2 square by 2G, plus 9 V2 square by 2G, plus 2 V2 square by 2G, sum of these two equal to 
126.67 v2 square by 2g now we are yeah now we are going to determine v2 that is equal to 8 into 2 into g is equal to 126.67 v2 square now v2 is equal to 8 into 2 into 9.81 g is nothing but uh, 9.81 divided by 126.67 root uh, therefore v is equal to finally we have determined the velocity of flow uh, in section or in the pipe 2 to that is 300 mm pipe that is equal to 1.113 meter per second now we have determined velocity in the flow our ultimate aim is to determine the what is the discharge flowing through the pipe 11 or pipe 22 both are same right now discharge q is equal to a1 v1 or that is equal to a2 v2 now we have determined the velocity in the pipeline of 300 mm therefore we are going to discharge discharge by using this uh, velocity what is the area at section 2 to pi into what is the diameter that is uh, 300 mm 0 0.3 meters uh, square divided by 4 into what is the velocity that is 1.113 then we have the discharge. Discharge Q is equal to 78.67 meter cube per second. Right? This is a problem. Uh, finally, we have determined here that discharge flowing through the pipe is equal to 78.67 uh, meter cube per second. Right? One problem. Now we are going to discuss about problem related to pipes are connected uh, in parallel right please note down the problem the main pipe divides into two parallel pipes the main pipe divides into two parallel pipes The main pipe divides into two parallel pipes which again form one single pipe at the end. Again form a one single pipe at the outlet. The length and the diameter for the first parallel pipe are this is the first parallel pipe, this is pipe 1, this is pipe 2. Length is 2000 meters. Length is 2000 meters. Diameter equal to 1 meter. Respectively. And the length and diameter of second parallel pipe are 2000 meters. This is 2000 meters and the diameter is 0 0.8 meters. D equal to 0 0.8 meters. Find the rate of flow in pipe 11. Find the rate of flow in pipe 1 and rate of flow in pipe 2. If the total flow in the main pipe is, this is the Q, this is the main pipe. The total flow in the main pipe is given that is Q is equal to 3.0 meter cube per second. The coefficient of friction for parallel pipes are same. That means F1 is equal to F2 is equal to same that value is 0 0.005. Right? This is the given problem. Based on this data, we are going to determine the what is the rate of flow from the pipe 1 and uh, from the pipe 2? In case of pipes are connected in parallel, if the pipes are connected in parallel, I have given one statement that had loss due to friction, 
from pipe 1 is equal to head loss due to friction from pipe 2. That is, HF1 is equal to HF2. What is the formula for HF1? Head loss due to friction in pipe 1. This is the pipe 1. 4FLV square by 2GD. Head loss due to friction in pipe 1, 4F1, L1, V1 square by 2GD. That is equal to head loss due to friction in pipe 2. That is 4 F2, L2, V2 square by 2G, D2. This is D1, pipe 1, D1. This is pipe 2, D2. Right? Now, 4 F1, L1, V1 square by 2G, D1 equal to 4 F2, L2, V square, v, V2 square by 2G, D, 2G, D2. Now, 4, 4 gets cancelled. 2, 2 cancelled. F, F cancelled. Right? This is equal to F1, L1, V1 square, F1, L1, V1 square divided by D1 is equal to F2, L2, V2 square by D2. But in this case, in this case, the length of pipe 1, 1 is 2,000 meters and length of pipe 2 is also 2,000 meters. So, therefore, L1 is equal to L2. Right? That is equal to L. Therefore, L1 is equal to L2 gets cancelled. And also in the problem, they have given coefficient of friction F1 is equal to F2 is equal to 0 0.005. Therefore, that is the coefficient of friction. F1 is equal to F2 is equal to that is the value. In both cases, we are going to take, but F1 is equal to F2, that also cancelled. Now we have, from this equation, V1 square by 2 V1 square by D1 is equal to V2 square by D2. Right? Now we are going to develop the relation between the velocity in pipe 1, 1 and velocity in pipe 2, 2. Right? What is the relation? Now, this is equal to V1 square D2 is equal to V2 square D1. Therefore, V1 is equal to square root of square root of V2 square into D1 divided by D2. Right. What are the values? Therefore, V1 is equal to V1 is equal to V2 is unknown. V2 square into, what is the D1? Diameter, pipe 1, 1, that is equal to 1 meter, 1.0 square divided by, what is D2? D2 equal to 0 0.8 square. Now we have V1 is equal, therefore V1 is equal to square root of V2 square into 1 square divided by 0 0.8. 8 square, therefore V1 is equal to V2 square, uh, V2 divided by 0 0.0, 0 0.89, right? This is the relation between the velocity V1 and uh, velocity V2. This is the relation we have. Now, here we want to determine the discharge in pipe 1 and discharge in pipe 2. But here, this is the main pipe that are divided into two parallel pipes and uh, connected at the end. Now, discharge from the main pipe, discharge from the main pipe, Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. First, we note down the formula for the determination of uh, discharge. Here, Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. Q1 is the pi D1 square by 4 into V1 plus pi d2 square by 4 into v2, right? Now, this is equal to pi into, what is the d1? Diameter 1 meter, 1.0 square uh, divided by 4 into, what is the v1? We have developed the relation between the 
V1 and V2. Developed relation between the V1 and V2. In place of V1, we are going to take the V2 by 0 0.89. In place of V1, we are going to take the V2 divided by 0 0.89. Right? Plus pi, what is D2? That is 0 0.8 meters. So 0 0.8 square divided by 4 into what is V2? V2 is V2. Now, in this equation, Q is equal to Q is equal to pi 1.0 square divided by 4 into V2 by 0 0.89 plus pi by 4 into 0 0.8 square into V2. In this entire equation, only unknown is uh, V2. In this problem, they have given discharge through the main pipe. Discharge through the main pipe is equal to 3 meter cube per second. Now we are going to substitute the value here. Discharge from the main pipe 3 is equal to pi into pi into 1.0 square divided by 4 into V2 by 0 0.89 plus pi into 0 0.8 square divided by 4 into V2. Only unknown is V2. Right from this equation, therefore V2 equal to V2 equal to that is 2.17 from this entire equation only unknown is V2. By solving this equation V2 is equal to 2.17 meter per second. 2.17 meter per second. Now we have determined uh, velocity, velocity in pipe 2 take small mistake v2 by solving this equation the velocity in pipe 2 v2 equal to v2 equal to 2.47 meter per second the velocity in pipe 2 is 2.4 2.427 meter per second right once we know the velocity in pipe 2 we are going to determine the velocity in pipe 1. We have one relation that is equal to V1 is equal to what is the V2 value? 2.427 divided by 0 0.89. Therefore, V1 is equal to 2.17 meter per second. Velocity that is V1 is equal to 2.17 meter per second. The diameter of pipe 1 is 1 meter. The diameter of pipe 2 is 0 0.8 meters. So, therefore, the velocity through the 0 0.8 uh, meters dia velocity is more than compared with the 1 meter dia pipe. That is 2.17. This is 2.42 meter per second. Right. Our aim is to determine the what is the rate of flow from the pipe 1. What is the rate of flow from the pipe 2. Right. We are going to determine Q1 first. We are going to determine the Q1 first. Q1 is equal to what is the formula? A1 into V1. Right, what is A1? Area at uh, this pipe. Pi into 1.0 square divided by 4 into what is the velocity in pipe 1? 2.17. Therefore, discharge Q1 from the pipe 1, parallel pipe 1 is equal to 1.96 uh, meter cube per second. The discharge from the parallel pipe 1 is equal to 1.96 meter cube per second. Right. Now we are going to determine discharge from the parallel pipe 2. That is uh, Q2 is equal to what is the formula? A2 into V2. A2 is nothing but cross-sectional area of the pipe 2. That is equal to pi diameter 0 0.8 square divided by 4 into what is the velocity V2? V2 equal to 2.472 meter per second. Finally, the discharge from the pipeline 2 is equal to 1.094 meter cube per second. Therefore, the discharge is more in case of 1 meter dia pipe. The discharge is less uh, in case of 0 0.8 meters uh, dia pipe. In this problem, they ask that the, what is the discharge from the pipe 1? What is the discharge from the pipe 2? For the determination of the discharge, first we have developed the relation between the V1 and V2. Once we know the relation between the V1 and V2, by 
applying the parallel pipes statement that is head loss due to friction hf1 is equal to hf2 based on that uh, we have taken the relation between the velocity v1 and velocity v2 that is substituted here finally we have the velocity in the pipeline 2 that is equal to 2.427 meter per second based on this we have I, here we have determined the velocity in the pipeline 2, then we have determined the discharge in the pipeline 1 and discharge in the pipeline 2. That is A1, V1 is equal to this is the formula, 1.96 meter cube per second. The discharge from the 0 0.8 uh, diameter pipe is equal to 1.094 meter cube per second. Right. Now we are going to solve some problems uh, related to water hammer. Note down the first problem. The water is flowing with a velocity of 1.5 meter per second. One point five meter per second. In a pipe of length two thousand five hundred meters. Length equal to two thousand five hundred meters. And of diameter five hundred mm. Diameter 500 mm. At the end of the pipe, a valve is provided. Right? This is the pipe. This is the pipe. At the end of the pipe, a valve is provided here. Here, this is connected to one tank. This is connected to one tank. At the end of the pipe, a valve is provided. Find the raise in the pressure. That means uh, pressure intensity. Raise in the pressure intensity in the pipe because of uh, valve is provided here. If the valve is closed at a rate of 25 seconds, valve is closed, the time is given that is closed uh, time that is equal to 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Take the value of C is equal to, take the value of C is given, that is velocity of wave pressure meter per uh, second. Right? Here, this is the data given here, velocity flowing through the pipe given, that is equal to 1.5 meter per second. Length of the pipe is also given, that is equal to 2,500. And uh, determine the pressure raised in the pipe because of the valve is closed at a time of 25 seconds. And C is given velocity of wave, that is equal to 14.60 meter per second. Now, first we are going to decide whether the Valve is closed suddenly or gradually. For the determination of valve is closed suddenly or gradually, we know one relation that is that is the time taken, the time taken is more than the two times length divided by velocity of wave C. Now this value is more than t, that is the valve is closed gradually. Otherwise, if t value is less than 2L by c, the valve is closed suddenly. First, we are going to decide whether the valve is closed gradually or suddenly. Now, we are going to determine the ratio between the 2L by c. Ratio is equal to 2 into L by c. What is the 2 value? 2 is 2. What is the length between two pipes? Between two points? That is equal to 2,500 meters. Divided by C is given in the problem. That is uh, 1460 meter per second. 2 into L divided by C. We have the value that is equal to 3.42. The ratio is 3.42. 2L by C is equal to 3.42, but the time for closing the valve is the valve is closed within 25 seconds. So that means T is 25 seconds. 
and uh, 2L by C is 3.42 seconds. Therefore, T is more than uh, 2L by C. Therefore, in this case, the valve is closed uh, gradually. The valve is closed gradually. Right, if the valve is closed gradually for the determination of pressure or raised pressure, P equal to, we know one formula that is equal to rho mass density V L divided by T. Raised pressure P is equal to rho V L by T, where rho is the mass density of liquid, that is the water here, that is 1000 kg per uh, meter cube. 1000 kg per meter cube into velocity of flow that is given in the problem that is equal to 1.5 meter per second into length, length of the pipe that is equal to 2500 meters so divided by divided by time divided by time, time is given over 25 seconds therefore pressure intensity equal to pressure intensity raised pressure is equal to 15 into 10 power 4 Newton per meter square. Therefore, P is equal to 15 into 10 power 4 Newton per meter square or pressure intensity or raised pressure P is equal to 15 Newton per cm square. This is the answer. In this problem, they asked that by closing the valve, what is the pressure increased? What is the intensity of pressure increased in the pipeline? The pressure increased or raised pressure is equal to 15 Newton per cm square. Right? Now we are going to uh, solve one more problem related to the water hammer. Right, please note down the problem. The water is flowing with a velocity of 1.5 meter per second. V is equal to 1.5 meter per second. In a pipe of length, L is equal to 2500, same as earlier problem. And dia is also, diameter D is equal to 500 mm d is equal to 500 mm at end of the pipe the valve is provided same earlier case this is the pipe valve is provided here this is the tank okay right valve is provided here find the raise in the pressure what is the pressure intensity what is the pressure intensity the valve is closed two seconds T is given, T is equal to 2 seconds. Earlier problem they have, they have given, T is equal to 25 seconds. So here, uh, close the valve at a time uh, that is only within uh, 2 seconds. Assume the pipe to be rigid. Pipe is rigid. And take bulk modulus of water, K value given. Bulk modulus of water, K value, K is equal to 19.62 into 10 power 4 into 10 power 4 newton per uh, cm square k value given right here also as like as in the earlier problem we are going to determine the pressure raised in this case if the valve is closed uh, at 2 seconds right same way first we are going to decide whether the valve is closed suddenly or gradually for that purpose first we are going to determine the 2l by c but in this problem Velocity of wave is not given directly, that is calculated by using another formula. We know one formula, that is already I have given, no? C is equal to square root of K by rho. Wave velocity is equal to square root of K by rho. K is given in the problem, that is equal to 19.62 into 10 power 4 rho Newton per cm square. That converts into Newton per rho meter square, that is 19.62 into 10 power 4, into 10 power 4, uh, that is the Newton per meter square, divided by rho value, density of water is uh, 1000 kg per meter cube, uh, therefore C, right, therefore C is equal to, therefore C is equal to 1400 uh, meter per uh, second. Now, we are going to the ratio of 2L by C, 2 into L is nothing but 2,500 meters divided by divided by C value that is uh, velocity of wave that is equal 1,400. Therefore, 2 L by C is equal to 3.7. But the time is given. Time is equal to 
two seconds. Therefore, therefore, T is uh, less than 2L by C because uh, 2L by C is equal to 3.57 and T is equal to 2 seconds. So therefore, T is less than uh, 2L by C. Therefore, based on this uh, value, the valve is closed uh, suddenly, suddenly. So if the valve is closed suddenly, the pressure raised in the pipe, P equal to, we know one formula that is equal to V into root uh, K into rho. This is the formula I have derived in the earlier class. That is P equal to V into root K rho. Right. Velocity is given in this problem. That is 1.5, 1.5 meter per second into square root of uh, K value we know that is equal to bulk modulus that is equal to 19.62 into 10 power 8 into density is 1000 kg per meter cube. Finally, the pressure increased in the pipe is equal to 210 into 10 power 4 newton per meter square. P is equal to V into root K rho. K is the bulk modulus value known to us. Density 1000 kg per meter cube. Finally, we have the pressure raised in the pipe or intensity of pressure in the pipe. Pressure raised in the pipe P is equal to 210 into 10 power 4 newton per meter square or this is equal to 210 uh, newton per uh, cm square. This is the pressure raised in the pipe. Right? These are the problems related to the water hammer. Thank you. Thank you one and all.